Cloning fragrances. What are they? Should you get them? Is the OGs better? What's the price range you should be paying? Stay tuned to find out. 10 fragrances from clone houses that you've probably never heard of. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Shoutouts to Ross Carlos over there at TLTG Reviews. He definitely helped me out when he went on live and gave me some really good tips on how to improve my social media, you know, my YouTube, things like that. So I definitely appreciate that. Salute. And to all my followers, all my subscribers, I appreciate y'all as well. But let's get started because I have 10 fragrances. Yep, 10 fragrances, count them, from fragrance houses that you probably never heard of that are clones of more popular fragrances. We're gonna go through them all. I am not gonna pull these up to try to tell you the notes or anything like that because I'm probably not gonna be able to find them because, again, they're clone houses that you've never heard of. So without further ado, we're gonna get started on the first house. This is a house of Karen Lowe. Probably never heard of it, right? <laughs> um, these, I find at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a great price. They're like sub 20. Most likely they're like 14 dollars ish And I have two fragrances right this here. This one is a clone of Polo Red. This is Karen Lowe's Pure Red. Yep, it's exactly what you get. Polo Red. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. This is an Eau de Toilette concentration. The longevity and the projection is average. It's I wouldn't say that it's beast mode. I wouldn't say it is great. I say it's average, so it'll last a few hours. You'll probably get about five to six hours with probably an hour of decent projection. And I say decent because it really depends on the skin. I don't really get great projection um, on it, but at the same time, you may. And that's from the house of Karen Lowe. It's pure red. The next one is also from the house of Karen Lowe. This is the houses version of Paco Ravine's One Million, and this is Pure Gold. It's sweet. Oh yeah, just like Paco Ravine's One Million, and it's definitely what you get. Again, Ode Toilet Concentration. This one right here, a little bit more loud than Pure Red, but at the same time, still get about the same projection, still get about the same longevity. And it just works. If you like Polo Red, definitely get Pure Red. And this is also from the house of Karen Lowe. It's her version. Paco Revise 1 million. Pure Gold. Next is a clone house that I see them everywhere now, especially at the outlet malls. And people talk about it in the fragrance community, but not heavily. And they make some amazing clones. And this is the house of YZY and their clone line of Territory. The first one is their version of Versace Euros. This is Territory Desire. This is all Eau de Parfums and again, sub 20. I paid 15 for mine back when um, Perfumes For You had their buy two for 30 sales. So I was buying two at a time. So I got about four of Territory's scents and they were all $15 at the time. This right here definitely is everything that Versace Euros captivates, and it's an Odette Parfum concentration. I think this may have even came out before Versace released the Parfum version of Euros, so you kind of got the upper hand. When they released the Ode Toilette, YZY released Territory Desire with the Odette Parfum. Beautiful, good to wear during the cooler weather, and it just works. That is from YZY, it is Territory Desire. Next one is a clone of probably, in the last few years, probably one of the most popular scents known to man. Everybody has it. They say you're a douchebag if you buy it, but everybody got to have it in their collection. And that's Dior Sauvage. This is their version of Dior Sauvage. It is YZY, Territory Wild, Odell Parfum. Definitely 
everything that survives captivates. Even the bottle has the magnetic cap. It just does the trick. It is beautiful. If you like survives, you don't want to pay survives money. You don't want a good fifteen dollar Eau de Parfum concentration from the house of YCY. Get territory wild. <clears throat> Next is a clone of a fragrance that's widely popular but hard to find. It can be a little bit expensive, just like Sauvage, probably around that same price range. But at the same time, it just works. <clears throat> this one, if you go to the mall, you go to this one particular clothing store, you're going to smell it every single time. You probably already know what it is. It's Amber Crown and Fits His Fears. And this is Territor Coron. Smells just like Fears. Smells like the inside of an Amber Crown and Fits store. Wow, it is beautiful. This is a Eau de Parfum concentration, as I said, and it just works. So if you like Amber Crown and Fits Fears and you want to be smelling like it on a $15 budget, get YZY Territor Coron. Last but not least from the house of YZY, it is their version of another popular fragrance, and that is Invictus Aqua. This is YZY Territor Platinum. And it is what it is. That bubblegummy scent, that blue scent that you get from Invictus Aqua, definitely you get it here in Territor Platinum. It works, it is beautiful. These are compliment getters. And if you want to smell like Invictus Aqua, but you don't want to pay Invictus Aqua prices, get for $15 from the house of YZY. Again, it's Territor Platinum. <clears throat> Next is from a house you probably have heard of, but then again, it's not the most popular clone of this fragrance. This is another probably top five most popular scents of all time. And that's none other than Creative Dentist. This is the smokier batch of Creed Aventus. This is Zara Oud Vibrant Leather. I know what you're thinking. Oud Vibrant Leather doesn't sound anything like Creed Aventus, but definitely it works. Like I said, this is a clone of the smoky version of Creed Aventus, and this smells amazing. Um, the concentration, I think it's an Eau de Toilette, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to see if I can find it on here. No, it is Eau de Parfum. I apologize. It is Eau de Parfum concentration. This works year round. I wore it when it's been a little bit cool. I've worn it when it's been a little bit hot and it definitely works. I get, I can wear this most of the day and get whiffs of it. It will become a skin scent. It will become a skin scent, but you will get whiffs of it. Like it kind of tries to punch back like I'm still here. And that's from the house of Zara, it is Oud Vibrant Leather, a clone of Creed's Aventus. Next is from a house that I did find at my local TJ Maxx. Um, never had heard of it. I looked it up and I said, oh, this is another clone of a highly, highly popular designer fragrance. And that is Chanel Blue de Chanel. This is Fascinoble by French Rivera or Riviera, I meant to say. This right here, it's just beautiful. Out of all the clones, I get the most compliments from my wife with this one because it definitely just works. It is that Blue de Chanel DNA to the core. You can get this for sub $20 at TJ Maxx, probably Marshalls too, and it works. If you like Blue de Chanel, which you probably like all of these fragrances because they're all popular. Then get Fast and Noble, French Riviera. So next is another clone of a wildly popular fragrance. That's usually what it is with clones. They want to sell out, so they get popular fragrances and they clone them. Hopefully, you can buy their clone because it smells like the popular fragrance and it's cheaper. This one is a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirkjohn. You already know, but again, these are clones from houses that you've probably never heard of. And this one is no exception to the rule. This is from a house called Terre 
Not Terra Davis. None of that. It's a house called Terra, and this is Red Intense. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Odette Parfume. This is beautiful. This is, again, sub $20, probably about $15. I got this one from Marshalls when I was on my honeymoon. So did Ooh Vibe and Leather because I don't have a Zara in Louisiana. But this right here is beautiful. It kind of reminds you of Dark Cherry and Amber from the House of Banana Republic because I do have that scent. But it's not as sweet. People always emphasize that Dark Cherry and Amber is kind of leaning more feminine. I don't think so. But a lot of people say it is feminine because they say it's too sweet. So if you want something that smells like that, but it's more masculine, Red Intense from the House of Terror. Now I saved the best for last. When you think about this house and you think about this fragrance, you think about one, maybe two other clones of this fragrance. I have one that will probably outperform and probably last longer than any other clone out there. And this is a clone of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather. Most of these I have full reviews. This one I definitely have a full review. And this is no exception to the rule that when you find something that's beast mode, this is beast mode. And this is from the House of Murata. It is shield black leather. This right here, if you buy this, it's no need to go buy Ben Sherman signature. I smelt this and was blown away and immediately bought this for about $15 to $20. I smelt, oh my goodness, I can barely even talk. I literally went out and I smelt Ben Sherman signature because it was at Macy's backstage. Somebody had opened it and I said, oh, this does smell like ombre leather. Nowhere near this. This is the Ode Parfum Concentration. Ben Sherman's signature is a Ode Toilette. So this has better juice, more quality. It's cheaper because it's about $15. It works so well. So if you have this, I will tell you something and mark my word. If you buy this, it's no need to buy ombre leather. What's the matter with you? I'm gonna pause a minute on that one. You buy this, no need to buy ombre leather. Probably the best spot on clone that I have out of all my clones. And I haven't even shown you all my clones. I have our moth clones. I have Latafa clones. You know, I even have <clears throat> Kismet for Men, which is a clone of YSL's Tuxedo. And this right here is probably the best, longest lasting, spot on clone out of every single clone that I have. So if you're looking for the best, and I say the best more than DJ Khaled will say the best, get this right here. That is Marada's Shield Black Leather Ode Parfum. Probably one of the best clones that you'll get in your lifetime. I'm warning you. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's 10 fragrances that are clones from clone houses that you probably never heard of. Have you heard of YZY? Have you heard of Territoire? Have you heard of French Riviera, Karen Lowe, Ter? Murata, or even Zara. Did you know that they made clones? Well, here you go. So, you know who it is. It's D Da Vinci the Poet. I do poetry and sin reviews. If you like that type of content, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like and comment. Be sure to even click that notification bell. And again, salute to each one of y'all for watching and sticking through this video. I love each and every one of y'all. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend's mother, father, sister, brother, cousin. And Da Vinci the Poet does poetry and sim reviews. And I'm out. Peace and God bless. Stay tuned for the next one.